Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Crem 2 News First at 4. I'm Tom Sherry. Welcome, everyone. I'm Whitney Ward. Today, about 30 Spokane police officers completed a three day bike patrol training. Those bike officers, they're not new to Spokane, no. of course, but now there are more of them and they have higher levels of training. Crem 2's Amanda Rowley got a first hand look at the training today and shares why it addresses a growing need in downtown Spokane. Officers on bikes are not new to the city of Spokane. You may have most recently seen them at protests downtown in May and June. But this SPD bike unit is new to Spokane. At the end of this three-day training, officers will be internationally certified and taking their skills to Spokane streets. Skills like safely stopping at a moment's notice for a child or traffic, maintaining balance and control in a crowd, and maneuvering through tight spaces. Training coordinator Mark Brownell says the unit was formed out of need in Spokane. They can actually move faster through a six block area on bikes than you typically can a car. Officer Brownell says the bikes can be deployed just about anywhere. For example, at a protest, the bikes can form a fence line. That fence line is designed to keep us on one side and keep protesters who may want to hurt us or somebody else or anything that we're protecting on the other side. Not only is it a tool for protection, but Brownell says the bikes can also build relationships with the community. A bicycle is a great icebreaker for people to come up and talk to us. And I think that one of the big things that we've seen throughout the protests that have been going on is there seems to be a divide between the public and the police. But what people forget is that we are the public as well. And so people can, come up and have normal humor at human interaction conversations with us. Brownell says this training does not mean we will see more officers on bike patrol. They'll just be even more prepared to protect and serve. Amanda Rowley, Krem 2 News. Well, there is good news for some businesses that have been struggling during the pandemic shutdown. Governor Jay Inslee is easing some of the coronavirus restrictions statewide. That means more local businesses can reopen or open at a larger capacity, possibly getting more people back to work. Counties in phase two, including Spokane, can reopen movie theaters now at 25% capacity. Guests must wear masks and social distance. Today in a press conference, Dr. Bob Lutz stressed though that the masks must be worn when not only getting your movie ticket, but also kept on when you're in the movie theater. I've encouraged them when they reached out to me to actually have people go in and periodically ensure that people are wearing masks and maintaining masking when they're in theaters. And under the loosened restrictions, restaurants and bars can also increase the capacity of people that they serve. And there's no longer a restriction to that same household dining at the same table. Tables in Spokane will now be able to seat six people, don't have to be from the same family, along with alcohol served for an hour longer. Now you'll be able to get a drink up to 11 o'clock at night. Dr. Lutz says the new guidelines are thoughtful and realistic, but the county has the ability to tighten restrictions again if necessary. That you have about 95% of restaurants really doing the right thing, really encouraging uh, masks and uh, no mingling. And you have 5% of the outliers where, again, the outbreaks are occurring. And I think that, unfortunately, is impacting the entire sector pretty significantly. So masks must still be worn in restaurants and bars and grabbing a drink from the bar countertop still off limits and buildings still must limit their capacity. The good news is heading outside right now don't need a mask <laughs> and you can enjoy the sunshine. Absolutely. Let's talk about weather. Blue sky, sunshine, 80 degrees right wow. now. That's the current temperature here in Spokane. You can see winds are calm uh, and again under mostly sunny skies. When we talk about uh, the satellite and radar picture, again, no cloud cover at all across the state of Washington and most of Oregon. So over the next 12 hours, we'll enjoy that uh, beautiful sunshine and then we'll see that gorgeous half moon out there. It's way uh, with an overnight low uh, in the upper uh, 40s and lower 50s. I'm calling for a low in Spokane of about 50 degrees. Not quite as warm tomorrow, but still well above the average of 64. We'll see a high of 75 degrees. And then for the weekend, that's when the rain moves in. A windy weather as well. Cloudy skies, 63 on Saturday. And we'll look for a few lingering showers on Sunday and a daytime high of 58. All right, sounds good, Tom. Thank mm -hmm. you very much.
Now for a sad update to a developing story we've been following here for several weeks. Human remains found on Sunday have now been positively identified as a 19 year old from Newport missing since last month. Jason Fox was reported missing by family members on September 16th. The investigation is now considered a homicide, according to the sheriff's office. Fox's parents told Krem he hadn't been responding to text messages since the 14th of September. The same day he was supposed to have lunch with his family, he never showed up. The last message thread that Jason's father asked was where he was at. Jason wrote back that he was busy and had forgot their plans. His family says he never responded after that. So Jason's father, uh, Michael, provided a statement via email. He says the loss of Jason is a devastating blow to our family. And he also says, quote, this is not over for us or our community yet, though. Arrests have not been made. The animals who did this are roaming free and they should be caged for life. Please continue to provide any tips you think could help the Ponderay County Sheriff. Jason deserves justice, end of quote. The number for the Sheriff's Office is on your screen. Well, drivers, heads up. School speed zones are active once again. Spokane Police tell us those cameras are back in operation as kindergartners are returning to school now. Those cameras are live Monday through Friday. Tickets will be issued to speeders from 8 to 8.30 a.m. and again from 2.20 to 2.50 p.m. And remember, for everything you need to know about local school districts' back-to-school plans, just text SCHOOL to 509-448-2000. Well, it is National Book Month, in case you didn't know, and we want to help kids crack open a new book. So this month, we're giving out free books and snacks for K through 12th grade students. And coming up after the break, we're talking to our own Laura Papetti, who is live from Creme 2's first ever Sweet Reads event. President Trump is considering negotiating on a small COVID-19 stimulus deal that will directly benefit Americans. Coming up after the break, what you need to know about another $1,200 relief check.